Last week, where's my fucking notes? Last week, y'all uh, had a jolly good time talking to a little bird um, and not really trusting what that bird was saying because it's a bird and, you know, that that's pretty deceptive of it, honestly. Um, and you guys were going to question that bird with Zone of Truth, but it turns out that neither of the people who can cast Zone of Truth decided to prepare it in Corwick, a place where people lie all the time. So <laughs> that was good and smart and good planning of them. So you guys had to take a nap and you took a nap and then you woke up and before you could do any Zone of Truth action, you were interrupted by one Gertie from Idle Hands who would just be delighted to take you all on a tour of the town. And there was a lot of flirting that happened on that tour and after the tour. Diona flirted back a little bit, which was fun. Um, and the, the rest of the party, well, the party met another Corwick native named Mrs. Christabel Tucker, who had lengthy conversations with each of you in which she was just basically stating her fully formed opinion of you, having only just met you and not really having anybody respond to her. But... She was delighted to meet you all. And she let you know that there's a celebration happening tomorrow, probably around noon, to, to sort of show you guys what a Corwick party is all about. Yeah. And then, and then she fucked off to go uh, do whatever she's doing. Definitely nothing that I would know about. And then you all uh, ended up back in Susanna's house and the holy people have prepared their holy spells for the zone of truthing and that is where we are at yeah that's accurate I, oh, so I want to know what she um, thought of Dylan Marionette both holy people so until Sarah uh -huh. gets here because I think Sarah is going to be able to come Sarah said no. Oh, Sarah said no, unless the cleaning doesn't take as long as she thinks it will. Oh, okay. But cleaning always takes at least as long as you think it will, if not twice as long. Yeah, I see yeah. that now. <sighs> I missed that when I was looking at Amy's response, because fuck that. <laughs> Oof. Um, Josh, hold on. You asked what she thought about Dylan. I need to find my notes for what she thought Wait. about Dylan. Look at him. Look at him, what? Just look at Dylan. Look at this man with his spooky bird. And then immediately make an assumption. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me find my notes. It's very deep in my notes. Because this is all mashed together. It is all good. She had, um... Quite a bit to say to you, Dylan. She said, first of all, that you look like quite a handsome young man, a fine young man. What great company you must have been for her dear friend, Mrs. Crow. She seems to know that your parents owned a bookshop in Amman, so that's weird. And beyond that, uh, she actually knew your parents' names. And yes, Do which I didn't know. His parents I names? don't know his parents' names, but she did. <laughs> Okay, give me a fucking second. I can tell you what his parents' names are. Okay, cool. And, yeah. And she was just overall delighted that... Wait, no. A... Hold on. I can I... actually see what they look like. I Send had all... I had written down Dylan's dad's name because I, I had written in my first notes for our campaign and now I don't have them anymore. I don't know where they are. <laughs> well, I didn't write... Is down either of his parents' names because Susanna refused to call them by their names. Well, their names are Dadlin and Momlin. Yeah, and you're obviously. right. Obviously. <sighs> yes. Beautiful. Randall. Randall, yes, that's what Randall. it was. Yeah. So, knew your parents' names. That's a little bit weird, but overall seemed quite delighted to meet you. That was her general opinion. 
Any comments about the bird? No. Did not acknowledge the bird in the slightest. Fair. But in an obvious way that she was very deliberately not acknowledging the bird. Vias yeah. also had Mercy there as well, and she's a white raven, so obviously yeah. that's gotta be a bit weird. Yeah, Christabel Tucker was was doing a hard no on acknowledging the birds. So... That's still in sister, also. Mm-hmm. I can't even remember what she said to Diana. I think all she brought up was that Diana has family in Westron. Yes, and also that Diana is just as tall as her grandson said. Yeah. Which that is. Yeah, that is that is. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> She's the truth, yes. Um, oh, and then Zoella. Zoella, she was very excited because she heard that you do the most fabulous impressions and she would have had you demonstrate some of these so-called fabulous impressions and made you promise to uh, show her grandsons as well. Uh. So that was that was Zoella's bit. I found all my notes. It took me a second, but there we go. And that is what... Mrs. Christabel Tucker had to say about y'all motherfuckers. And then she left. Very quickly. This was a very brief visit. But she chose to fuck off. So. Dylan doesn't like her. That's, <laughs> you know? That is valid. You can say that to Susanna. Yeah, you can say that to Susanna if you want. Would you like to? No, he keeps that to himself. Alright, good to know. He, he figures... If he says it out loud, she will know, and he doesn't like that. <laughs> you know, you're not too far from the truth. So, um, yes, that is what happened. Excellent. That was the content. Bless. Hmm. And you all are just vibing. No, I want to a sign of truth, the burb. This is true. The burb, by the way, is on the mantle, just where it's been chilling quite a bit. Um, we need to think of questions to ask it. Marcus is intrigued by the bird. Does Marcus... Like, go over to the bird, or is just the Marcus watching the bird? No, Marcus will just occasionally. Um, it's almost bare, it's almost unnoticeable, but very slightly unlinked from Dylan to look at the bird. Ah. Dylan does not enjoy this, but he does not make it obvious. All right. I think the bird at some point would, uh, assuming you're all sort of gathered in the living room. Yeah. Bird at some point would probably uh, hop down off the mantle and onto Talia's shoulder if Talia gets close enough for it to get away with that. Talia would happily. Nice. There's a bird on your shoulder. It feels weightless, just like it had for Diona. It feels like it's not actually there, but there's some sort of presence there. Yeah. It is vibing. And also a spirit. (laughs) It's not real. But it is a spirit who's going, I can actually touch you too. Yeah, it's it's pretty stoked about it. So... That's a spirit. That's a spirit. Talia is vibing with the bird on their shoulder and doesn't realize that it's weird. <laughs> All right, that's that's also valid. Um. So I assume we only want yes no questions for this. Yeah. Why? Um. I mean, it's technically, I think, a spirit. So. Oops, that's not Vias's voice. I moved into Sadija voice. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it! Fake Vias. <sighs> Vias is a doppelganger. No, um, shoot him on sight. No, I'm kidding. Um, so... Don't invite Sadana to shoot Vias for any reason, please. <laughs> She's ready for it. She doesn't have a fucking gun. 
So we need to. Oh god, I lost my train of thought because now I had to go and put in my accent. Um, <laughs> fuck, okay. what was I talking about again? So um, the spell. Yeah, that's not questions for the bird. She's technically a spirit. Yes, I was going to suggest um, using speak with animals because that's something I could have prepared, uh, but I. She's obviously not going to be able to react to that. So. Yeah. Are you sure? I mean, isn't she also a bird? It also a bird? Isn't I mean... She, well, let's see if I prepared it, because I don't remember if I did or not. Uh, nope, but I can use Charm Person. Um, That's me help. Could be extra charming. The the problem we have there is that that doesn't help us understand. So we probably just want to stick with yes/no questions. Probably, unless the bird can write, but I don't think that she can. Can you write, bird? Uh, it tilts its head at you and does a double tap, which was the uh, the aforementioned. Language, the yes no language for no. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? It tilts its head the other direction and then doesn't say anything. Are you sure? Dylan, it's, Dylan. Not, it's not a yes or no question. I think she's just confused. That is a yes or no question. I mean, how would it even write? That's not With difficulty. Well, yes, but I think the difficulty is too great, you see. I mean, it's I a... can write. Yes, but it's a bird. It doesn't have hands. I'm sure it would be kind of like if you put a pencil between your two elbows and tried to write. I'm sure that's probably how crazy it would be for a bird to try. Susanna immediately puts her elbows together as if she's going to try and do that and then stops. Yeah. <laughs> Bias just like holds a hand up to his face and goes... Hush. <laughs> Don't talk to me. I'm busy. Yeah. We noticed. Shut up. No. She cusses an orcish. Okay, okay. <laughs> settle down now. Um... Yeah, I think it's a safe bet to stick to yes or no questions. Um, but we need to figure out what questions we're going to ask. And um, he looks at uh, uh, Spirit Bird and says, uh, and you'll try to tell the truth, yes, even if we're gonna kind of cast a spell for making sure you tell the truth. You're okay with this? Single tap. And head tilt. Mm, okay. Well, I, I suppose that's fine. We have permission to use the spell, so hopefully she will fail the save. That's it. Wait, hold on. Let me check. Can Zone of Truth, can you deliberately fail the save? You yes. can. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, technically, actually, with any saving through a spell, you can choose to fail the save. Mm -hmm. Bro, I didn't know that shit. It's just that with most of them, why would you? Yeah. Just for the lulls. <laughs> oh, fireball? I'm gonna fail that save. Catch me deliberately and failing no, my fireball no, save so I get a sick burn. To fail a fireball save, and that is if you are a rogue or monk and have evasion and just want to flex. Flex. I will deliberately take this meteor swarm. <laughs> No fun. dex save required. Kill me. <laughs> no dex save. However, because I fail, I still take half damage. So I'm still going to. I'm going to walk into the middle of it, and I'm still going to swerve it around me. Oh god. Dab. <sighs> yeah. So the only valid reason to fail a save against. I'm not even sure that is a valid reason. <laughs> not even sure it is a valid reason, but it is. Yeah. Okay. It is. It sure is a reason. It sure is a reason. You're right. Anyway. So I assume they were- What the hell was that noise? It sounded like a cat sneezing. 
What? Me? Yeah, I, I don't know it. who it was. I just heard. Yeah, I heard it too. It was a cat sneezing. I mean, I have papers that I just moved. Who knows? Mysterious cat sneeze. I'm nowhere Mysterious near a cat currently, so... Cat sneeze. That's unfortunate. So, Vera has Zone of Truth prepared and is ready to cast it whenever. Yeah. Now, the qu next question. Are the rest of us going to try and fail the save against the Zone of Truth? Because it is a moral no. Well, we're not be we're we're not the ones being questioned anyway, so it doesn't matter, right? Right? Talia will willingly fail the save. Of course, Talia will. Dylan is saving against it. <laughs> what what's the role for that? Uh, it is a... It's charisma or it might charisma be charisma. Sounds right, but I'm not sure because it's been fucking forever since I had to deal with Zone of Truth loss. Hold on, and it's either charisma or, or wisdom. Truth, I chose to fail the save. It um, is a charisma saving throw. Yes. Fifteen have... foot radius sphere centered on a point of your choice within range. Yes. Yeah, so y'all are all Fine. pretty much gonna be there. Uh, Vice is gonna okay. Um, try and save against it. Try and save. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Just Dylan succeeds. Where should... the heck is Where's Vice's thing? Susanna's sheet because she will want to save on. Well, Diana definitely fails. Oh my god. Huh? <laughs> yeah, Susanna <laughs> Oof. is allergic to the truth. The mockingbird fails it. Automatically. Um yeah. Does a 15 okay. beat the DC? It does. It does. What's hey. Vera's spell DC? 14. Okay. Shit. Low yep. enough thought. If that's correct, let me double check. Yeah, I think it is for this level, because we haven't really gone up in DCs yet. It, it is. It is correct based on her stuff. So. 15 oh yeah, but I thought you had higher than plus three wisdom, is what she, I was- Yeah, I was- I was surprised by that, but apparently Sarah rolled shit on her- No, we didn't roll, we did point back for this game. Yeah, I think we should have rolled, but whatever. Anyway, those were old times. The point is, Diona has failed the save. Wasn't yep. it also a nerfed point by also? Yeah, it was a slightly nerfed point by that was done by the We two. did like 26 or something points. So, it's so it, it was a Pathfinder style point by, not a 5e style point by. God, uh, okay. So, spell is cast. Whoever has failed it deliberately or otherwise, um, you know, tell that truth. Anybody who's passed it, lie as normal, dumb motherfuckers. Um, including myself <laughs> in that statement. Um, uh... There's a little bird on Talia's shoulder, chillin'. Vera can feel that it failed, I believe. Failed the save. So yeah, she can she tell can, usually. She will yeah. tell everybody that the Mockingbird is well, under the effect of the spell. Marcus has um, failed his turn. His... Wait, no, that's wisdom. <laughs> Marcus has failed his save. <laughs> Yep. Oh okay. Marcus has failed to save. Marcus doesn't really talk, so he's probably all right. Uh, yes, but we could get Dylan Moore out of Marcus by asking yes no questions to him as well. Anyway. All right. Um, first question right off is, are you Susanna? Single tap. Which is these are all these taps are all on Talia's collarbone, by the way. Talia will translate yes and no. Yeah. Okay. Great. So it's me. Fun. Yay. Awesome. Um. Susanna? Yes? Do you want to be rejoined to the boat? I... Well, 
I think I'm supposed to be, aren't I? That's not what I'm asking. Right. I'm asking what you want. I think yeah. Talia, would l Talia is just going to ask a clarifying question of, are you Susanna's soul? It does a head tilt single tap. Translate. Sorry. Just to, just for clarification. Um, do you have Susanna's missing memories? Well, that is a weird question. I don't know, you said you didn't really remember, so... Yeah, I think that's just because I've got a bad memory. Um, but the bird taps once and does a head tilt again. Vice, like, gestures with both hands at the bird. Like, see? I, I mean, should we really be trusting a bird? Shoot, it's telling yes. the truth. Of course it's telling the truth, but... We can trust birds. Can we? Can we? Yeah. Dylan, can we trust birds? Yes. You all aren't very much of a fan of birds in this town, if I recall. That's considered um, gross. Well, if they're juicy, no. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't <laughs> birds if they are alive. I don't think that's a... If they are alive, yeah. yeah. I don't know what juicy means. I don't know what anything means anymore. I feel like that was a lie. I'm inside the zone of truth. I can't tell a lie now, can I? Bullshit. Anyway. If you're this really is cool. about whether or not Susanna is able to lie to us right now. Either way, not important. Um... If you are really cool, you can tell lies. If there is no memory. If if I'm really cool, I can tell lies. Yes. So I can and tell a lie, like. like... <laughs> no, never mind. Okay, so the question on the table is: Do I want my soul back? Right. That's yes. That's the question. What do you want, not what do you think you should want, what do you think will make us happy? What do you want, Suzanne? <laughs> um, great question. Insightful, very deep, very interesting. <laughs> and you want to graze past it because you don't know? Yeah, well, uh, yes. No, yes. Yes. I don't know anything. So, let's ask the bird again. The bird had such great answers. Hey, bird, do you want to be rejoined with me? And the bird does a single tap. Well, see that, see how straightforward that was? That was, that was, that was so, so much simpler. All right. Um... Okay. I don't have an idea of what else to ask. I mean, the main one we already got out of the way, so... Do you like being a bird? Hard double tap. Do you know how you got severed? Single tap. Do you know why you're this bird? Like, this type of bird? Um... A very... Very hesitant single tap. Uh, so is that you have suspicions but you aren't positive or? Single tap. Okay. What? No, that's not the answer. No, of course. What? Hmm. Do you like the crows here? Like the bird crows? Double tap. Hard double You'll tap. Family <laughs> double tap. Oh. Just the question after do you like the crows here? The family crows. Do you like the family crows? 
Juicy gossip. So that's just sort of like what the parents and the people got to do. Well, you know what we got to do? <laughs> Why is Max cracking his knuckles? <laughs> Why is... I'm kidding. Why is... <laughs> it's... Why... I would never. You also, um, cracks knuckles. Oh my god. Okay, no, both of you stop it. I kid, I kid. Uh, right. Are you able to leave the town? Um... Double tap. It does It does a double tap and then it tries to do like a little hoppy, fluttery flight thing on Talia's shoulder and then only gets a couple feet up before landing again. You can't fly? She wins. Cause... Hmm? Uh, feet or inches? Because a foot is significantly more than inches. Feet. Feet. It gets like <laughs> two feet up and then comes back down. Vias kind of crouches by it and says, you can't fly, can you? It looks a little bit like it's trying to work out whether it needs to answer yes or no to that question to indicate. Um, can you fly? Double tap. Do you have That's three arms over the camera? Okay, one at a time. I'm gonna go first. Dylan saying stupid shit. Okay. Do you have free roam over the town? Double tap. Okay. The graveyard of the house is there anyone else you can kill? That's Single. not a yes or no question. Single oh. tap. Okay. What about the uh can you appear at the temple? Single tap. Okay. Can you appear at where? The temple. Okay. So Can yes, you appear she... at the Raven Graveyard? Single tap, and it kind of does a little, like, birdie shiver thing. I don't think going through every location in town and trying to figure out where it can cannot be the best use of our time. Oh, hold can on. Um, what color is the mockingbird? Hmm? What color is the mockingbird? Gray and white. Sorry. He kind of blinks for a second and says, Oh, hold on. I, I swear I saw this bird up with the crows before. Sounds possible. Hmm. Can I mean, you appear at the brothel. Sleep. Um, single tap. Do you think it's possible to retether you? It tilts its head back and forth. It doesn't. It doesn't make any effort to answer. Uh, it doesn't know. It is a lethal bird. Yeah, fair enough. And I think Diana kind of, yeah, no, that's fair. That wasn't a fair question to ask. Susanna uh, will sort of lean into the bird and say, when was it? That's not a yes or no question. Shut up. When was it? And it flutters off Talia's shoulder and back onto the mantle. And Susanna frowns. And she says, okay. That's not very helpful. But I know that you're trying. And then it flutters back onto Talia's shoulder. What if we set out a bunch of numbers so it could answer the question better? Talia would like to investigate the mantle place. <laughs> Alright. As soon as you touch it, it swings around and reveals the secret room that you've been hunting for all this time. <laughs> Are you yes. serious? No, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I knew I'm it. To be like, Fuck you. <laughs> I'm, yeah, no, it... It does not. It does not move. It is a fireplace. Um, there is that clock on the mantelpiece. 
and to the left of the clock, there is a candlestick, and to the right of the clock, there is nothing, but that is the spot that the bird kept on hopping up onto every time it's been sitting on the mantle. Um, there is a painting of a little woodsy scene up on, above the mantle, and uh, yeah, it's a fireplace. You can make an investigation check to try and fuck around with more shit if you'd like. Um, but that's what's basically there to the immediate eye. Uh -huh. Did there used to be anything on the mantle weather? Um, Where the bird would sit? You don't? It used to be a, a match set of candlesticks. Where is the other one? Oh, I don't know. I think you probably found it, didn't you, when you were looking around in the box with the shirts? Did he? Because I don't remember. He did. He did. There, was a, there was a candlestick in that box with the broken plates and with the shirts, and okay. it was covered in wax. Like a candle had melted and just completely covered the thing. Dylan okay. wants to do some. What does Dylan want to do? I'm nervous. What crimes will he commit? What <laughs> crimes will he commit? Nah, he's already committed several. Um, Me too. Uh, well, first investigation on the the blank spot in the mantle. All right. Um, oh, Talia also rolled an investigation. A nine. It looks like there is a blank spot on the mantle. A nineteen. Um. Nice, Dylan. It looks like. You can see the faint, like, sort of, it looks like maybe the metal rim of, of the candlestick, the base of the candlestick, had uh, scratched into the wood of the mantle over the years. It definitely was there at one point. There's no trace of dripping wax or anything on the mantle. Um, actually, you notice while you're peeking up there uh, on the clock, on the side of the little clock, it looks like there's a little thing that you can press in. Like there's a little pushy spot that you can push in. Dylan pushes it. A little a little drawer pops out of the base of the mantle clock. It What's is, in the drawer? There's some money in there. And <laughs> there is um, what you recognize to be, well... I don't know if you would recognize it to be this, Dylan, because you're not very smart, but I'm going to go ahead and give the information to you, Josh, and you can decide if Dylan rec- It's the barrel of a gun. It looks like the disassembled barrel of a gun. Dylan's seen Susanna working on her guns, right? Yeah, I think he has. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he knows what it is. Oh, nice. So he rolled a 20. Natural Good boy. 20, but it's an 18. God bless him. <laughs> so dumb. Um, so stupid. So Dylan, it will, he's going to do his little warlock detect magic thing on this okay. general area. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be checked. Is there nothing weird? Let me just double check and see. I don't think there is. I mean, you do feel what Vera felt. What everybody who's detected shit felt is the general underlying necrotic bad juice of the town. Dylan does yes, not juice. like that. It makes you feel unhappy, Dylan. In you fact, are not I will say, <laughs> Dylan gets a, a very low growl from the Raven Queen in the back of his head. Alright. Um, because she doesn't like it either. Mama she not happy. Like locked off. She don't like the undead. And it's very unpleasant. Yeah. The, the growl is quite faint, but definitely she does not like those vibes and neither do you. I um, just failed the vibe check. <laughs> Yeah, Corwick <laughs> has failed its vibe check. Corwick failed its vibe check. Dylan says, Hey, there's a gun in here. It's not a gun, it's a piece of a gun. Oh, well, hey, there's a piece of a gun in here. Yes. Why? 
because sometimes I need a piece of a gun. Why not? That is, that, that's not an answer. Hey, Bart, do you know why the piece of the gun is in here? Single tap? Yes, it does know. <laughs> is that the part of the gun that was used to shoot the bullets in? Vice, I thought we agreed we weren't going to talk about that bit. Well, what I'm asking the bird currently. This is Susanna yeah. 1.0. You are Susanna 1.0 question mark. <laughs> I'm not even the original Susanna 1.0. You knew me first. <laughs> I'm the Susanna you met, for God's sake. <laughs> he shrugs. If anyone's the original Susanna around here, it's me. I'm the original Susanna. That is just a bit that broke. I think we all have beats that broke. Yeah. But that does- I don't- I am not the Susanna 1.0 question mark. I am the original Susanna. Do not- How about we flip it? So this one's Susanna 1.0 question mark. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, the bird, by the way, to your question, did a double tap. Okay, so not the mur- not the murder weapon. All guns are murder weapons. That's what they're for. Yeah, I... <laughs> How many things can you murder with a gun? Many things. Many. Lots. All of the things? I, yeah, feel, all like, of the things, including all gun? of you, if you took me off too much. So just keep that in mind. Susanna, Susanna I like swear. <laughs> could I kill what uh, with a gun? A god with a gun. I could certainly try. <laughs> I think you could. I, Haven't you I heard of the bar song Angel with a Shotgun? Oh my god. What the hell are you saying to <laughs> Leave me, me alone. <laughs> okay. Anyway. That is a spare gun, just in case. That's not all of it. That's just there's a few bits here and there. There's one in that clock. There's a few in case I needed it. But that was just a spare gun. That wasn't, it was just in case, in case I needed it. You know, it was just, it, it's nothing. It didn't, Sounds and it like didn't. Sounds like a bit of a weird backup plan. If I, you know, got stuck somewhere and needed a knife, I wouldn't want it in three pieces, now would I? Well, the, the, well, it was less of an emergency situation, Talia, and more if I was locked in the house and I wanted to get out of the house, you know? Or so that other people wouldn't think ill of you having it if they found the piece? Yeah, actually, me being found having a gun wouldn't have gone too well for me now, would it? Yeah. So it was pretty important for the gun to be not found. Susanna? What? Can you... Can you... <sighs> Thank you. Okay. That's part of why... We've made the arrangements we have. Yeah? Right. Yeah. Because we care about your safety. Right. But, yes, that was, um, that was, that, that is just, just despair. It's not... Talia no. gasps in realization and like leans down to the bird and just goes, Is there anything hidden in the basement? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it has never pained me more to say this, but it does a double tap. God damn it! <laughs> Parker, you don't know how much it has hurt me week after week to know that this is a fucking chair. And you just kept going for it. I'm gonna felt, go. I'm gonna sit in the corner uh, for a while. I felt so bad. I felt. Diana does have one question. So bad. For okay, what's the question for the bird? Did Susanna ever deliberately get locked in the attic? Oh, that's a bad question. That's a bad question. Uh, the bird does a single tap. Huh. Bias looks very angry. It's not, yeah, we're not- for a moment looks thunderous. We're not- She forces herself to take a breath. 
Talia has a moment of like, weren't we already on that page? We're not doing that. We were the confirmation. Mm -hmm. We're not doing that conversation. You said I didn't have to do that conversation. Yeah. 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 I okay. want to know. And I apologize I... for overstepping your boundaries. I agree on not having the conversation. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Let's just, just keep everything wrapped up tight where it belongs. Um, hmm. and I'm sorry for overstepping boundaries. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's no, not okay. It's, it's not okay. It's not okay. None of it is okay, but it's, 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 we're, mm, it's, oh, mm, no, it's fine. It's fine. Take a breath or sit if you need to. Is Fine. There you go. Carly Joe reaches through the wheel and gives Susan a Virus is oh, going to Virus is gonna turn to uh Susanna Bird and um say Um Do you know what happened to your sister? Or where she is? Double tap. Okay. And it bows its head. <sighs> he just frowns at that. Alright, well that doesn't answer much of a question, but thank you. Uh, that's unfortunate. Ugh. <sighs> Well, all right. It is sort of. And she looks at Susanna. Mm -hmm. Ida says, Oh, no, got out. Ida doesn't know. Ida doesn't know. Nobody knows. Susanna. Ida, Ida doesn't know. Ida thinks and Ida hopes, but Ida doesn't know. Ida knows less than me, and I don't know very much, but I know. I don't think. Uh, Ida's juror need verification. Because I think I remember Ida saying that. Ida Ellen believes. Ida believes that she, like what Ida oh, said okay. to you was I that see. she believes it. But Susanna seems to think that Ida doesn't know. That is what is happening here in character. Okay, I, I was just making sure that I had the right... Yeah. No, you had it right, because Ida believes that Eleanor got out. Susanna doesn't. And that is the situation. But Eleanor, whether or not she got out, whether or not she's here, it doesn't matter. Because one way or another, she's gone. And she can't help me. So, this is my problem now. <sighs> I can safely say this is the worst job I've ever done as a hostess. I've normally so much better. Easy small talk, drinks, good food. These are so circumstances and we aren't exactly the easiest people to host for sometimes yeah. there are even card games card games can you imagine it card games well okay yes all right good lord do we have any cards um, i have some cards i have cards for the card games that i used to have when Yes. Do you want to play Go Fish, Dylan? We can play Do you want to play Go Fish? If we're going to play card games, we should probably disable the spell. No. Is that all we needed to talk about? Because... I uh, do have one more question. Okay. And this is one that I'm going to PM to PK. Okay. PM away. Because I, I think Diana is going to, so I think Talia will hear this, but since mm -hmm. Fokker is right next to me. Susanna is thinking about where she left her deck of cards. 
Talia has now moved to perch so that they're sitting, like, on a chair, but, like, on the back of the chair with their feet on the seat part. Good. Good content. Oh, that's a mood. That's a nice place to sit. Who needs to sit in chairs the straight way? Exactly. Just make your feet comfy. Do, 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 do. I look a bit put out about the basement. <laughs> Parker, I am so sorry. It pained me every single time. Not all basements have secrets. Yeah, it's a question, and it is very much a quiet. Yeah, yeah. Um, I need to think about this, actually. Um. I mean, Susanna is not actually pessimistic, but is her soul pessimistic? That's a good question. I'm really thinking about this. You'll have to give me a second. Um... Mm. I'm glad my lap's comfy, dearest. Mm-hmm. Squish. Mm-hmm. God, I, I wish I could just, like, lie in a lap. That'd be great. I'm jealous. Relatable. I have Stop a bold partner cute. using my leg as a pillow. Damn. It's very cute. That's gay. Ah. You are very cute, my dear. No. Yes. <laughs> Lies. Slim. Mm-hmm. Some Stop. character right there. It's too cute. I'm gonna die. <laughs> then die. <laughs> then perish. Oh, no. I mean, if, if you say so. Did you say Ooh. that in character to- Ooh. That was not in character, that was- That's joking in a shit. Okay, cause I was like, if you said that in character, Vice is about ready to throw hands. <laughs> no, that's joking no, being a shit. Oh Diana does God. not tell people to die. I know. Yeah. <laughs> All just right. like, I heard them die, and I was like, um. <laughs> how did our conversation get here? <laughs> After... Because Josh said we were being so cute, he was gonna die. Uh, yeah. Uh, after the mockingbird answers mm-hmm. your question, which is very, very hesitant, it then um, hops onto your shoulder, Diona. What does it do? Uh, what is its answer? I, I typed it back to you. Sorry, it does a very, very hesitant single tap. Um. But okay. you get the sense no, maybe don't. that it didn't really want to say that. Yeah. Um. Uh, and Aaron is kind of going to murmur. I know, I know. And ideally we won't have to. But it is both your choice. It, it taps on you. Not for any particular reason. It just taps. That is the only it way. taps in a gr- in. Yeah, it's, it's an it's understanding sort of a tap, just a general. It does not communicate very well because it cannot make sound. Tap but, side of beak of to express emotion. <laughs> yeah. Emotions uh, are taps now. I think Dana reaches over and just very, very gently and very carefully sort of trails two fingers down, like the fluffy feathers, oh. um, right on the neck. Mm-hmm. It is very careful. It is very gentle. She is trying to reassure the burb that we will do our best to not leave it behind. It seems as hmm, as appreciative as a little bird can be, um, and as best as it can convey that with its limited tools available. It's just a little <laughs> creature. It, it is just a little creature. It. That's it. It cannot change this. It blink. Yes. You Good turned contact. into Gertie for a moment. <laughs> yes. Gertie is sometimes always here. <laughs> yes. Gertie is watching. Oh no. <laughs> Gertie is not watching. Gertie is having a grand old time somewhere else. Yeah. Um. Fuck. Where was Do I? Do you have anything else we want to ask while the spell's up? Talia shakes their head. None that wouldn't be too private, so no. Mm. 
Okay. All right. I mean, we okay. mostly wanted to confirm uh, with this that she was either Susanna or part of Susanna. And not Susanna 1.0. Let's just be very clear about that. I cannot believe, I cannot believe you sided with a bird over me. I well, can't believe Well, she's very that. persuasive, you know. She's a bird. She can't even talk. Bias points she, to Mercy. She is also very persuasive and she cannot talk. Yeah, but she can, like, sing. Bias frowns. He's like, she can sing? Yeah, she's... Never mind. It doesn't matter. So... He looks at okay. her and he says, why, didn't you, why don't you sing to me? She, she just kind of, like, turns away from I'm him nice. and he frowns at her. <laughs> she likes me better and that's the facts. All right. How dare you? She just kind of, like, fluffs up her feathers a little bit and looks away from him. <laughs> me too. Me too. Okay, great. Nice chat with my little bird self there. Oh, my lord. So if that is actually me, which is actually a very difficult concept to get adjusted to. Yeah, that's... Have you ever just sort of, like, gone to a visit to your hometown and then it turns out you don't have a soul and then your soul is in a little bird that's been harassing you, pecking out your windowsill for months, and then it's like, oh, we can fix it maybe if you want to. Maybe, we don't know if we can fix it, but hey, do you want to do this? And it's like, oh, and then you have to still deal with your family, which, by the way, I have to tell my mama that I'm not staying, and that is a whole of that is the same level of Actually, ordeal as it is, like as rejoining my soul to my body. That's the same level of ordeal. Emotionally, ask, yes. Exactly. Can I ask you a favor? That was Tobias. What Tobias? Uh, Dan is asking a favor. Oh, sorry, yes. I guess, depending on the favor. I don't know if we're going to need it. But it might be a very good idea to have the backing of a certain friend of ours for a reason to leave. Particularly a reason to leave and bring Susanna with us. A certain friend of ours. What? Are you talking about Charlie? Yes. Oh, I... he can give us a reason to leave that the crows can't argue with. Oh, that is smart. And he did tell me to write him. Um. Um. My only other concern. I don't know if mail going out is searched, but it might be worth... <sighs> Would you be willing to send Mercy as a messenger? At least to Westron, so that the Mars can pass on the letter. Um, how far is uh, Westron from this It's area? about a day out. I recall right. Like I recall that we a, traveled about, for about a day. A day. But um, can also do the wagon fly thing. Style. I'll cut your own time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how mm -hmm. much faster it is for Mercy, but it will be faster for Mercy to go yeah. as the crow flies. She and, yeah. has a fly speed of sixty, I believe. It's still yeah. And out of character, because you have packed the chain monster, you can go through her senses and speak to her at any mm -hmm. distance. And also, so, I can cast invisibility on her, so they won't know that she's leaving yeah. to her, so... If she uh, gets through any scrape... Showers. I'm glad you thought of that. Yeah, that's what I thought, that's why. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't want her to get attacked by crows, so... Um, it's a good thing he has Patch of the Chainmaster and then Gift of the Everliving Ones and shit. I, that's why I took that shit. <laughs> Alright. Um, okay. I mean, I guess, I, but that's Thank up you. to Mercy. I don't really want to put her in danger unless she's okay with it. And she just kind of, like, ruffles her pe feathers and, like, shakes her tail a little bit. Um, and what was that line that you were talking about? Um, uh... Oh man, she basically repeats a line from what Susanna had said about um, um 
Oh, I don't know what Susanna says ever. Oh, God. What was it? It was something about, like, uh, uh, get it back or whatever it was that you were just talking about with your soul. I don't remember what it was now, damn it. Uh, uh, I don't have any idea. I've forgotten everything that I just said. I did, too. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, Mercy I... said something sarcastic, probably. Yeah, she repeats a line from Susanna's voice, basically, because she is crow currently. Um, okay, I guess that means yes. Oh, dear. You are okay, a suicidal okay. bird. Uh, you know this? Dil uh, Dylan, we have suicidal birds. Okay. I <laughs> but I'd rather be safe than risk having to leave Susanna behind. <sighs> you know, Which I agree one? with this. Vias gives you a deadpan expression. <laughs> okay. I still am going to have to fend off my mother for however long that will take. And I want you to know, by the way, it is remarkable. She has not come to speak with me since yesterday morning. Do you know? It is it is like two o'clock in the afternoon. We are doing so well right now. She she cannot possibly last I can't remember the last time she's left me alone this long. Well, maybe she tried to come earlier and we just weren't here? It's possible. No, I, might... I think she's the type of person who would have stuck around if yeah, Susanna she, was out. She, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But um, there, this does mean that she will probably be coming around again. Um, probably tonight. Possibly soon. I don't know. And if you all don't want to deal with her, I can go over and visit her instead. And then you all can relax without having her be in your space. Because I know she's a little bit overbearing because she can't help herself. She worries and she gets, you know how she gets. Well, I don't know if you know how she gets, but I know how she gets. So just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to spare you all my family as much as possible. <sighs> And spare your family us. Well, <laughs> some of my family, yes, a little bit, perhaps. It's a lot. It's a lot. So I don't know. I don't know what the best thing would be to do there. Um, yeah. So how are we going to go about the messenger thing? Because I, I technically can't snap her back in an instant. Um, that just doesn't, I don't think that will work a long distance. Um, yeah, I don't think that would work long distance. I mean, here's a theory. Here's a theory. Now, I'm not normally one to advocate for being deliberately deceitful, right? No, that's a lie. Um, <laughs> I'm always one to advocate for being deliberately deceitful. And what if we don't have to necessarily get an actual letter from Charlie? We could just fake it, pretend we got a letter, and Mice lie about it. Grins brilliantly. Like, um, we could just and lie, get some sort of letter. You, you watch him grin, and then. Um, run over to his pack and like dig through the stuff that Talia had so meticulously packed away and just tears through it. <laughs> Talia <laughs> looks very tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's sitting inside ink bottles and kind of, they're corked, but he's tipping them over. <laughs> um, he pulls out a sheet of crumpled paper and it is one of the um, things that Charlie Did had sent. Did you not burn it? There was one that he burnt. There was one that he kept though that had like normal stuff on it. He kept one of yeah. them. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That was just a normal chatty letter. Yeah, it was just a Charlie chat letter. And then he holds it up and goes, I have a document. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> See, Lion is the better solution to almost every problem. See, now Mercy doesn't have to be flying around. Yeah, I did not it. like, I do not like the idea of her being far away from me where I cannot help her. I mean, I can Anna, cast spells I'm... through her, but it, it was a good idea, Diana. 
But it, I do it like a, to lie a lot more than I like to risk lives. It was a good idea and it is improved with a little healthy sprinkling of deceit, my, like most ideas. So. <laughs> he taps his chin but and mutters, well, maybe I will write a letter to Charlie later, but that's beside the point. Um, of course it is. You have fun with that. He just looks at you, Susanna, like, a little confused. Susanna raises her eyebrows and says nothing. Mm -hmm. There's a faint coloring <laughs> to his face. Uh -huh. And he holds the letter to his chest a little uh -huh. bit um, uh -huh. defensively. <laughs> I see that. I see it. You see nothing, you are blind. I see everything. I'm a lot, I can see a lot better than Dylan. Sorry, Dylan. <laughs> No, that's fair. I think everyone can see better than me unless they're, like, completely blind. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Well, <laughs> I... Let's see. I haven't done really forgery for things. Um, let's see here. Do I have a proficiency? Oh, that's something you can just do. Dona seems very amused. What are you talking about? He hasn't done forgery for things, but it is something he can just do. Sometimes you just have to forge. That's just how it I, is. I mean, I can't really, you know, I haven't really forged a document, like, an official one from somebody, but, you know, technically I can kind of, like, copy a signature and, you know... Make it right. seem like it was... So you have the skills. You just don't practice them. <laughs> That's what you're saying. I have the theoretical skills. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even matter. They don't know what his real signature looks like. It just has to look kind of nice and fancy, and they'll buy it. They'll eat it up. I mean, they have no reason to know what Charlie's signature actually looks like, as long as it's possible. Bias hesitates and he frowns and he says, Man, I hate to use him like this, but he's useful. I mean, you're not even using him, you're just using his name. Doesn't matter. Names are important, Susanna. Oh, right, we had that whole conversation, didn't we? Hmm, sorry about that. But you're using his name in a more official sense, not like an actual sense. It's just like, and it's not... And it's not like anybody from around here is going to go talking to anybody from around there. We're a little bit of a bunch of homebodies. I don't know if you've noticed. Mm, right. Uh, <sighs> you send a letter to him. Um, but it's not as high priority letting him know that we did end up. You know, I feel like that would be a better conversation to have him. Public, together, um, I... Are you sure it would be a public conversation? He frowns at you now. <laughs> <laughs> Danny just gives that very, very... She, uh... <laughs> Shit head when he's gotten used to her tossing at Susanna. Vias puts his hands on his hips and he says, When have I been not in public with Chari? Name once. Well... Just because you haven't done something doesn't mean you don't want to do it. <laughs> Susanna! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I spent the morning with Gertie. I, she has a terrible influence on me. Maya's just grumbles. <laughs> He's muttering Bias. in Marquisian a little bit. <laughs> Bias, I give you shit, but... You were legitimately delighted in the in the conversations, and there was, and you were clearly at least somewhat interested. That's all I'm giving you shit on grounds of. He just he doesn't say anything, but he does put the letters like to hide his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he hides behind them a little bit. <clears throat> Anyways, we can use these. Um, yes. Very yep. good. Thank you, Vass, for um, preserving your course. I will make like five drafts and see which one we like best, I suppose. Oh, okay. As far as the possibility of your mother in law visiting Susanna. 
Yes. Do you think we'll have time to have dinner first, or should I plan for an extra, like, three people? Uh, I don't know, because they'll... Here's what they'll do. This is, I know my mother, so let me explain to you what I think is going to happen. I think she's going to come, and I think she's going to stay until partway into dinner time, at which point she will miraculously realize that she has overstayed her welcome, and then she will retreat. So dinner will be late, but we will not need to accommodate her because she does so hate to be in an position, you know? That's what I think will happen. Okay, so you're telling me start something that has a moderately that long is... moderately long cook time yeah. and then just about when it's ready to come out, say, it'd be very apologetic and say that we should be really getting to dinner? Perfect. Wait, you're so smart. How do y'all pick this up so quickly? I lived here my whole life and it took me so long to pick these things up. I have no idea what's going on. That's fair, Damn. Talia. I don't expect you to... <laughs> Good, because I don't. <laughs> it's... Yeah. That's... Social bullshit. That's all right. Vias has inched well, his way to over like to. Vias has inched his way kind of into the kitchen area a bit and is like pulling out his ink and his uh, uh, quill and is kind of like putting a couple of sheets of paper down um, and just oh. figuring out what he wants to write. <laughs> all right. I think Diana's going to give a bit of a. And on that note, I'm going to go to market because I don't have. Anything that works well enough for a roast. Roast. That sounds good. All right. Um. Do you want uh me to go with you? Probably. Yes. Um. I shouldn't go. Um. I do. Susanna looks around for wherever she dropped her veil. It was by the door. <laughs> She is very disorganized. Well, it has been a disorganized day, so. I would like to. Okay. It has I'll be back in a second. I am going to go get food for get myself this. and the dearest. Bless. Oh, man, I need to eat at some point, too. But I will tough it out because I still well, want to play. I wish I could order food here because, but things are so far away. All right. So, Bias is working on his drafts of things. I'm going to AFK for about five minutes. I just need to do some morning routine stuff. Should I do sleight of hand or something? What What is this check going to be? I don't gonna know be? what this sort of thing is technically um, considered. I'm going to look it up. I don't know how forgery works. I've never done it before. Same. All right. Is there anything else that folks are looking to do whilst Vias is taking over the dining room table and whilst presumably Susanna and Diona are heading out to do a little bit of shopping? Talia is just going to vibe. <laughs> All right. No more, no more basement investigation. Yeah. Okay, okay. There are houses with secret things. There are even houses with secret things in the basement. This is just not one of them, Parker. There are things to find. Don't let it crush your soul. But, like, there are things yeah, to I'm find. I'm already just... crushed. I don't know. You've already done it. Like... It's just... When you first started asking, I tried so hard to come up with something that would make sense to be there. Just to just to give it to you, but there was like nothing worked, and I'd already done the things that would make sense in other places. I will never examine a basement again, PK. You've ruined I'm, it. I'm so sorry. I tried so hard to come up with something, and I didn't. I couldn't. And then you just kept investigating, and I was like, "Oh no! Oh dear!" I kept rolling like shit, and I didn't yeah. know if that. Yeah. I'm so sorry. 
I wish I could have given you cool secrets. <laughs> but I couldn't. So it's an intelligence check for forgery? That's weird. Okay, good to know. Um, what is Vice's intelligence? Absolutely nothing. I thought it would be like Valid. Dex, but... That said, you said he's taking his time to do it, so... Yeah. Well, it would be like a plus four to the roll, it looks like. Because he has the signature from Charlie already. Cool. So, let's see what happens. I mean, you can take your time. You can effectively, like, take ten, or if you really want to take fucking ages, take a fucking twenty. Yeah. Oh, can, that like, first one is bad. <laughs> Six. You can just, like, like, and then, I don't know, just, by the end, like, these are just your practice runs, so. The fifteen's okay. I'll do one more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good. I'll take uh, that yeah, 21. So you have one bum one, one pretty okay, and then you have one that is fucking perfect. It is flawless. It is a masterpiece. My mother would be proud. Is your mother into forgery? No, but she's a painter. And so she'd be proud of your forgery? Probably. <laughs> nice. I mean, she says she's done some weird shit in bye her Josh. time, but I don't know. Oh, hey. hi. Everybody say bye, Josh. Bye, Josh. Bye. We love you. Bye-bye. See ya. Oh, goodness. Yeah, so that letter is freaking perfect. You're yes. like, this, the language, the grammar, the style, fucking beautiful. Everything about it. Vice Charlie. looks at it and then just kind of tears up a little bit. <laughs> if you didn't know that you wrote this fucking letter, you would have thought that Charlie wrote it. Now I feel pathetic. Aww. <laughs> Vias, what are you crying over? Did you mess it up? No, it just looks like his handwriting and now I'm sad. Oh my god. Because it is not his letter. Do you need, like, I don't know, do you... How you doing, Bias? I'm fine. Right, but like, how you doing, Bias? He takes like a couple of breaths like he's gonna reply, and then he just closes his mouth. <laughs> okay, not to play this card, but my literal soul is bared out for everybody to see right now, so <laughs> you owe me at least a little bit of honesty here. He kind of, like, looks around. Is Dylan in the room? <laughs> no, Dylan has retreated to go do uh, Raven Queen things. He kind of, like, looks around and then just, like, kind of approaches a little bit and says, Okay, I don't know how to say this. I'm... Okay. Conflict of heart. I don't know. Charlie is wonderful and I really, really like him. Obviously, right. Okay, go on. But I also, um... Mm hmm I... I'm quite fond of Dylan, too. Mm hmm It's driving me nuts! And he I just puts tell. his head in his hands. Susanna pats him on the back of the head. I don't know what to do. Well, not to be crude, but you could always seek out some other company and see if that helped uh, to clear your head. I tried it with Max, that was nice, but not... We have a Jasper. Mm -hmm. Jasper! Jasper! It's, it's less a matter of body, necessarily, and more of a heart shit, and it's not fun for me right now. Well. I just, I want a nice thing, and I can't have nice things. Ever, I swear. Well. That sucks. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. I think that Talia is... Talia has once again stretched out on the floor and is just vibing. I love Talia. Bless. Good. Talia. 
content. Agreed. I mean... I but. should not have shared any of this. I feel fucking stupid now. You should not feel stupid. Do I look like I'm going to tell anybody? No, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I care, obviously, but I don't care, you know? Does that make sense? No, it doesn't make sense. The you... point is... <clears throat> first yeah. of all, marriage isn't that great, so just... Note that down. Let's Let's set that expectation right there. Well, first marriage sucks, so jot that down. Jot that down. <laughs> Vias kind of snorts and says, oh, I know that. Um, Why, have you been married too? Almost. Almost? Well, now I'm interested. He kind of, like, side-eyes a little bit. And, like, puts the forgery note back down and, and, like, mutters, I mean, I told Dylan, um, but I proposed to my boyfriend at the time, and we had talked about it for, like, months, and he seemed gung-ho about it, like, very excited, and whatever, and I got a ring, and I did all the things, and... He rejected it, said that I was, uh, I was crazy, kind of. As in, like, obviously he was not, he was just doing it to be nice. And that we were falling apart, and that he didn't want any of it, and that he was in love with my cousin, so. Whoa, okay. (laughs) That, I mean, that started out bad, and then it took a sharp turn towards more bad. Okay. And, um, I did end up officiating their wedding. Oh my god, Vias, you are a doormat. And I did make parts of her dress. Vias! <laughs> to no, be fair, she is no. my favorite cousin, and I want her to be happy, and she has made him a doormat now. Well, that's good, because he deserves to be a doormat. But, oh my god, Vias, no, no. When you get scorned by somebody... You shoot them. (laughs) With a gun, Bias. Bias did. I don't know if I'm listening to this. I I kind of. If you think she would reasonably only hear this. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they're in the dining room. Diana's probably in the kitchen. If you reasonably only hear this, you just hear her fucking lose it. (laughs) Just because of what what Susanna said to Bias. He frowns at you and says, Susanna! What? My mother basically banned guns in the house since my sister started dabbling with them. I can't... That's not my style. Okay, so you do something that is your style. I don't know. Magic. Magic him. Hit him with magic. I don't know. (laughs) Yeah, and that would put me in jail or dead, so... What the hell? Your town sucks. (laughs) <laughs> Your dad sucks too! You have fucking dead things here! Yeah, but at least I could kill things if I wanted to. Well, oh? no. No, I couldn't. But, clearly, if I did, I've gotten away with it, so. <laughs> you know. If I did, which I don't think that I did. But well, first of all, I was scorned, yes, but I wasn't going to fucking murder the person that I actually loved. So, I mean, it hurt, like, really fucking bad, but I wasn't going to kill him for it, like... At what point does it become acceptable to kill somebody? No, I think I think at the same time, Talia, you just hear from the floor, coward. Vias <laughs> <laughs> closes his eyes for about one second, and then he fake rolls up his sleeves and he says, I'm going to punch you in the face, Talia. Get ready! <laughs> and he you starts marching it. over there. <laughs> Oh, I want to to see this. I want to see this. (laughs) He has, like, he has that, like, determined look on his face, and he puts his hands up. He's gonna try and punch you. (laughs) All right, make your unarmed attack roll. (laughs) This is gonna be so pathetic. Strength plus proficiency. (sighs) Strength plus proficiency? Yeah. Actually, I think that... Strength plus proficiency. 
Um, what is our proficiency modifier? Is that two currently? Three. It's plus three. It's three. Plus three. My arm strike is only three. Oh yeah, that's because he's got a strength of zero. <laughs> Fourteen to hit. Nope. nope. All right. One they more. Very roll out of the way. He's gonna try it again. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, okay. Even now worse. You should just, you, now you're just embarrassing yourself. <laughs> He he stops at this point and just huffs. I, I can kind of imagine Vias uh, down up here her head out of the kitchen. And, Why is Vias trying to throw hands with Talia? Talia looks very Talia awkward. is rude. <laughs> From somewhere, Talia has pulled something to snack on and is now unimpressedly like just eating. <laughs> Vias looks furious now. He's like, oh, I'm going to get my stuff. Question. Vitally important question. Are they snacking on people jerky? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Vias is like, he's just frowning. He's like, I'm gonna get the candlesticks. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Don't make me grab the candlesticks. Okay, now that's going to a weird place. <laughs> they they just raise one eyebrow in that, like, they don't say anything, but it's very clear <laughs> of like, oh, try it, punk. <laughs> uh, Talia, if you want a squabble, I can give you one. Nah. <laughs> that. I, want to see <laughs> I want to see if he can hit me. <sighs> you all are terrible. How about I do this? And he is going to turn himself invisible and try to hit you. <laughs> okay. I think that's with that would give advantage, right? Does that give advantage? It would give advantage. It, yeah. So, advantage. Seventeen. Already, Seventeen is their AC. So <laughs> it does. It does. But you tell a whole he, single point of damage. Yeah, you take just... one point of damage. <laughs> and well, invisibility hit. drops. <laughs> Tully just goes, "Well, you hit, but you hit like a butterfly." <laughs> <laughs> See, Bath, this is why you shouldn't punch people when you're scorned. You should do something a little bit more productive. I was not going to hurt Talia. I just wanted to show that I could do it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh my god, you guys are insufferable. Yeah. I have an excuse. I don't have a soul. Mercy from Vice's shoulder says, I don't have a soul. That's that's getting real unsettling real quick, Rosebud. <laughs> she goes like <laughs> at you. Okay. Okay. Yep. Alright. Uh yeah, Vias just frowns and like crosses his arms and pouts. <laughs> I'm allowed to be insufferable. Talia, yeah, Talia's also allowed to be insufferable. Thank you. I mean, I really don't think anyone here needs your permission, Susanna. I was about to say that. <laughs> it's my house. You need my permission. Mm, no, I don't think we do. Don't you? What even is property? It's my... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank that you. That is a very good idea, actually, yes. Are you questioning the fact that this is my house? Perhaps. The house that I live in? <laughs> Owned by my husband's family. My husband died, therefore it goes to me, his next of kin, his wife. I. The house is... Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's a piece of paper that says that some people long ago claimed this as their place, even though it's probably not something you can claim. Talia's oh. expression has not moved from just like, I don't care. <laughs> Look. No, I'm not going to say that. Oh, coward. <laughs> Susanna reaches into her pocket and pulls out her gun and points it at him. He goes, oh, <laughs> and this is something she, I am familiar with. you. <laughs> and she says, um... <laughs> you should probably put that away just in case your mother comes. <laughs> oh, Lord, you're right. And she puts it away and she goes and she sits down immediately. <laughs> 
I don't want to get in trouble with my mama, Talia. <laughs> All right, that just makes you a coward. <laughs> Bias is, is busting a gut. <sighs> it's not loaded anyway. <clears throat> the bullets for this one aren't even in this house. They're in Mrs. Tucker's. I don't have my spare bullets here. Why would they be at Miss Tucker's? Did because she I give put... you that gun? No, of course not. I just put it there. <laughs> that is a very strange place to put that. Um... Yeah, well, I think we've established that my whole thing is sort of not getting caught with a freaking gun. You know, the play the reason... I find it very dumb that being caught with a gun would make you any less of a, of, you know, here. Uh, it's not about the gun. Well, it is about the gun, but it's not about. Well, now it's about the gun. Obviously, it's now it's about, about the, the gun. Of the gun. It's and it's about the. It's a bit. It's about. I'm not supposed to have to. Mm, no, no. It no. is improper for a young lady of, pro of distinguished breeding to need to resort to a gun to protect herself when there, are, uh, when there are people to do that for her. Right, it's because my husband should protect me, so I don't need a gun because he can protect me, and of course he can protect me, it's just easy, so... Except for himself. I mean, he's dead, so that's not yeah. really like you now. Well, he hasn't been dead for that long. Well, anyways, well, a lady must dead. do what she needs to to be protected. Yes. He's still currently dead. Like right, he's and dead. he's currently dead. So Ida gave me the palm pistol, and that was a lab because it's just a delicate, dainty little thing, and it couldn't really hurt anybody. Obviously, it can hurt somebody real bad if you know what to do with it, but most people don't know what to do with it. But the point is, I can't... You know, yeah. I, I have to be, I'm supposed to, you know, companions and people, and I have to be watched, because otherwise it's just, I'm a mess. And, it, you know, I'm not supposed to be able to do things, because... Yeah. That, that sounds, sounds like, like the bullshit. Worst in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a bunch so, of bullshit. It's, I yeah. mean, it's just how Diana it is. Diana step over, and very gently on, it's the left side that's okay? Yeah, left so, side. This is because I is joking, never remember. Yeah. Uh, very side gently side. hand on the left shoulder and just. Susanna? Yes. You are fantastic and you are very good at what you choose to do. And I am so goddamn glad that we have had you on the road with us. And if Fine. these fuckers can't see that there is, val uh, there is differing kinds of strength, then. Fuck Are you em. talking about us? No. Okay. I'm talking about Colwick. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I, I was going to be offended. <laughs> no. Oh my god. I, I, I was on the same trend you were, Talia. It just was going a little bit faster than I was used to. Well, thank you, Diana. I appreciate that. But. Jasper is rumbling. Jasper yes. is a baby. Jasper Rombies. Local baby. Local baby bastard. Bastard baby. Baby. She is literally right behind you, Paris. I can feel it. <laughs> and I'm giving her pets. I just right. saw Jamie's bias has two hands comment. <laughs> <laughs> he does have two hands. Uh, problem solved. I really but wish. I know Dylan or Charlie would agree to. I Sharon. know that's what it's sad because Vias is open to a polyamorous relationship, but <laughs> he's like, I just don't know what to do. I like uh, them both equally. Vias's boy troubles. Oh. The continuing saga. I... Is that the name of this episode? Yeah, boy troubles? boy troubles, the continuing saga. No, yeah. just boy troubles. I mean, I guess it is everybody's boy troubles. It's Susanna's boy troubles too. Yeah. God. Oh. Well, that's why I like traveling because I like shooting things. And that's nice. I used to I used to do it a ton when I was a little little kid. You know, shooting possums and things. Um, we found out. 
Right, you I'm met. Like, I, I yeah. still don't know what the possum is. Sorry. We all did experience that, right? That 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 memory of like spending time together as kids, despite the fact that there's no fucking way we spent time together as kids. Yeah, that was that really, real. That was. I mean, it happened. I don't know if it happened, but it happened. You know. Yeah, we were kind of like on the road for a little while, and then, um. And then we- weren't and then we were back again and, and we zoella all kind of just brushed was a it gnome. off zoella was a baby gnome yeah zoella you yes, wow <laughs> zoella is not a bird hi zoella um sorry but totally and then- has a moment of like oh that was a, that was a thing that was not just me and not fable shit <laughs> and then i mean, we're not that it was fable shit and then I don't know if any, everybody remembers Lena, but she was adorable. Yeah, she and, tried to save me from the tree, but I still fell and we both fell, so. And and Diana, you were like normal size when you were little. I mean, you were little when you were little, really. Yes, generally people all little when they're little. Right, but you were little, little when you were little. You were smaller, like you were you were itsy bitsy when you were little, and now you are very much not itsy bitsy. We tried to fight a bear. We tried. Oh <laughs> lord, we tried to fight a bear. Oh no, Vera, uh, poor Vera had to deal with us. And we oh god, Vera Dylan something. was an adult I don't too, know wasn't we he? Are, but we are Vera something. Talia is like very confused. <laughs> Jamie, you were trying to say something too, I think, and we got cut off. Oh, oh uh, All right. just can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, all Diana had said is that we owe Vera something. She doesn't know what, but we owe Vera something. We do owe Vera something. What can um, we get for Vera? What does Vera like? Vera. Oh, lots she's... of alcohol? Question mark? Yeah, but she already has that. How do you get somebody something that they already have so much of? I owe you coupons. <laughs> like, lots of them. My mother liked those. <laughs> She maybe babysit the kids a lot, but that wasn't much of an issue. The kids as in your sisters? Oh, yes. As in the, yeah. They... Oh, I'm surprised they don't have gray hairs yet. <laughs> you know, they very rarely put me on kid duty. Is that so? I... How strange. Do you like uh, kids? Why do you suppose that was? Talia looks at you, like, <laughs> trying to read if you're, like, throwing shade <laughs> real hard. Oh, Susanna is throwing shade. Let me double check and see how obvious she is about her shade throwing. Not oh, obvious shit. at all. She plays it 100% straight. Oh my god. <laughs> She's so uh, hard to read. <laughs> Talia still looks a little pouty and it's like, I was busy. That makes sense. Uh, we occasionally had kids who would end up on the boat. Uh, some of them are cousins, actually, now. Um, cousins now, as in they weren't cousins before? Yeah, but cousins are when they're family, when they're That's fair. Claimed cousins, not right. That makes that makes sense. I never. I just don't really have any cousins I would call family. And that is shade towards Liza Crow and Liza Crow specifically. Yeah. <laughs> she's a she's a piece of work. <laughs> That's the word for. Her. God. Uh, it's different to like how I call my ex cousin that. That that's. Right. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, we sometimes got younger kids getting adopted. Um, she looks like she's trying to find a delicate way to phrase it. Um, did you steal kids, Diana? <laughs> you steal children. <laughs> okay. 
in our defense. Oh my god, you stole children. (laughs) It was only when kids, when whatever situation they were in already was worse. And mostly it was stowaways. It's just, it was stowaways that never went back to where they were from because where they were from was generally abusive. And so- Yikes. So, it, it adopted. All right. Given shelter. I did not malevol- yeah. malevolently steal children, though. That that didn't happen. No. Okay. Uh, Tavian would have fucking gutted anyone who tried. Fair enough. Tavian had two rules. You don't fuck with kids, and you don't screw over people unless it's the only fucking way. Good to know. Probably how he ended up picking up Zola, actually. Huh. <sighs> it's weird. It's weird how many people know each other, isn't it? Like, people just sort of crossing paths. Really weird. It's weird. Things are fair. It's, it, I, I haven't so said it quite enough. It's really weird that my aunt knows your uncle. Honestly, I, I'm actually surprised that they knew each other. But it, I'm not surprised they knew each other. I'm surprised they knew each other without it being through my aunt. Uh, through my aunt. Like it, that's the bit I'm surprised about. The one who runs the place where you go and pay for sex? Yes. That thing I still don't understand? Oh, to be clear, Talia, I'm not sure if you know, my aunt also runs a place, like, Idle Hands is also a place where you go to pay for sex. Like, let's make that clear. The niggling point is why you would pay for sex. Talia's like, Talia's like, oh, okay. It seemed a little bit like the same a little bit, but I wasn't, uh, I wasn't 100% on that that one. Um, yeah. <laughs> Some people yeah, are. It, yeah. it is 100% a place you go to pay for sex. Okay, but why? Because some people are very good at what they can do with sex and uh, can make money or profit off of it. Because sometimes you don't have somebody available who will have sex with you without paying for it, you know? So you have to. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes people enjoy the discretion. Um, Sometimes people enjoy the apparent lack of consequences. Talia (laughs) is just more and more confused. (laughs) And just like, you can just do all those those shit. (laughs) Do all all those things just like normally though, right? Yes, but sometimes... Well, no. Yeah. Like, for example, if you're married and you want to have an affair, for example, you if you just have it with anybody, then there are consequences for that. But if you have it well, with a whore, affair? it's... Oh, Lord. Uh, having sex with someone you're not married to. Yeah. If you have some... You, if you have sex with somebody you're paying for it, then it's fine. Uh, okay, what's got you confused, Tulse? The everything? Why... Why... Yeah, I... <laughs> okay, marriage is that thing where you only agree to be with, like, one person forever, and that's dumb. Um, <laughs> it doesn't always have to be one. This... But, like, if you want to sleep, why don't you just talk to the other person and be like, hey, I want to go sleep with someone else, and your other person will be like, that's fine, cause that's... that's fine, because that's how that works. It's not, like, a big thing. Like, I... what? Well, sometimes the partner isn't available for a conversation, um, and so then they you'll just... wait. No, they don't. <laughs> Until they are. No, they sure don't. Let me tell you that much. And well, they should. Yeah, they probably should, but they don't. Um, but also, but... not everybody wants their partner to sleep with somebody else. For example, if my husband asked me, "Hey, can I go sleep with somebody else?" I would have said no. Why? Because. He's married to me. I don't get to sleep and... with other people, so he shouldn't get to sleep with other people either. But you totally could. But I can't because I have a reputation. But okay, all right. Look, okay. It would go against a moral 
code. It's it's like okay, so in the wedding vows, you promise to love and honor and obey and be faithful to your husband till death do us part, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And he says Why? most of the same thing. Uh, I feel like the obey part should not be. Yeah. Anyway, that's traditional vows. We just do them the way we do them. But the point is, Lord, okay. I guess what I'm getting I at. I mean, traditional is- Marquesian vows have a thing where you can like it. There's like an optional thing where it's like, and if I commit such and such, I can be, uh, like offed by my spouse. <laughs> Talia looks even more confused and alarmed. It's okay. a very it's old tradition. Understand. It what? it's rarely used. Okay, so you know what, Talia. Talia, I agree with you. I think I should be allowed to sleep with whoever I want, but unfortunately, I'm not because of the rules. All right, so that's just what Why I. Why are to... they the rules? It does because only because people decided so, and I grew up here, so I have to follow them. Think of it as going into a contract with another person for benefit. For funsies. Contracts are like a bad news, though. That's like. Yup. Many marriages are bad news too, I'll tell you that much. Why are you marrying someone if you don't wanna- Because you have to. Listen, okay, okay, what- <laughs> Okay, Listen, that's what? a bad thing actually- Susanna, did you- No. What? That <laughs> didn't happen- That didn't happen for you, did- What? You weren't for- forced into marrying. Well, I didn't really want to get married at the time, but it was the most convenient option now, wasn't it? Okay. 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 Uh, Yikes. And it worked out very nicely for a number of years, so I do not regret it. Is she telling the truth? Um... Does Vias have to insight her on that? Go ahead and make an insight check on Susanna Crow. Sixteen. Oh, 15. Yeah. Oh. So she definitely regrets it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Talia just goes, okay, so we're, okay. All right. So where I come from, first off, uh, only being with one person, I guess you could do that. A lo- Some people do, but it, why would you? Um, okay, look, okay. I had two partners, alright? I had two of them. Mm -hmm. Um, But, like, if we wanted to go sleep with someone else, we just had to be like, hey, guys, I would like to go sleep with this other person. And the other two people would be just, would, like, talk about it. And we'd have a conversation about, like, how long this is going to be for and what what was going to happen and why are you going to do, like... All sorts of things. And then it was like, okay, and then you'd go off and you'd do your thing. And then it was fine, because everyone knew in the end you would go back to your partners. I mean, usually that I is a good you guys thing. I believe in healthy communication. That yeah. sounds like a great... That sounds like such a good system. Yeah, it, 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 it like very much is. System. Unfortunately, partner, unfortunately, a lot of people especially in these societies get jealous even with communication hmm. I mean if you don't have a partner you don't have to pay for it you just you know go around until you find someone who's like yeah sure whatever I mean did like you was- have a currency system where you yeah are? I mean I feel oh. like you don't pay for anything so it doesn't like that doesn't no, I still don't understand money no one's explained that to me money can be used for goods and services services <laughs> Talia has gotten that much. God. Um, <laughs> These goods and services, I don't understand why they're not free. <laughs> um, I, uh, why, why do I have to give you things for you to give me food? You yeah. just give people food because they're hungry. <laughs> you damn communist! <laughs> uh, I'm, so, yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, the systems are just so terribly different that on many in many ways I don't think it makes a lick of sense to compare them but I think with this whole relationships thing I think you guys knew what it was about 
I think you guys had the far superior system. Well, thank you. I, I know think you that's don't... the first time any of you have said anything about that, like that, for the, for the doll fear. So, point one me, I guess. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, do you have any more questions about how we do things stupidly here? Yes, but I don't know where to start. <laughs> What's the one that frustrates you most? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm curious about that. <laughs> what even is gender? Oh no. Why? Oh why do lord. You, why? Why? Okay. Why? Hmm. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> that is a question that we do not know how to answer. <laughs> Uh, the best I can give you is that it's kind of become a default way of thinking about the world. Yeah. Um, for some probably very stupid reasons that none of us fucking know. And gender is fucky and it has varying levels of real. Talia, I think, just puts their face in their I know, hands. I know that was not helpful. It, it's not super... It, it's very dependent on your upbringing. It's very dependent on so much. It just... It's, yeah. And how you act and how you present yourself and how you think of yourself. It, it's weird. We don't... Everything is... I am so sorry we can't... Yeah. Can this is a, a question people... that nobody knows... Yeah, and a lot of people like to think that gender has to do with certain body parts, and that is stupid and not correct, so... It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a simplified, uh, classification system. Yes. That doesn't actually encompass uh, the, the, the wider range of experiences. It's like a big tree that's like one singular tree, and it has a bunch of different branches, but people are like, there's only one... Thing. There's a left side and a right side, but there's all these different branches in different areas, and some that grow like straight down and like not on the side, and some actually go out of the ground. So it's like okay, now yeah. I'm wondering what kind of branches you're even talking about. But... Oh, yeah, sorry, Talia, roots. I... I meant roots. I'm sorry. Uh, Talia just I, I mixed up the word in common. The and presses their face into the ground. <laughs> these chug of much credit I'm now. Sorry. The theory. Badly. <laughs> This did not, so that went mm, poorly, I would say. I mean, we can't okay. explain gender. Gender is weird. Um, because that is, this is the place I've been that has the most enforced gender presentation. Susanna says nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Diana, I'm trying very hard to be delicate. Susanna makes a face but says nothing. Folks who are considered men here very much wear the suits and the... Or as folks who are considered women wear the dress and it is sort of a signifier of your place in the... Don't I again kind of side-eyes Susanna and just make sure that she's not absolutely butchering this... this... <laughs> Okay, but you also said that gender is related to which body parts you have, so, like, it's also telling everybody which body parts you have? Like, for for why? Uh, for why? Because... Nope, nope, uh, nope. I thought well, I could answer I that effectively, but I can't. I there are trans people in Corwick. Hmm? I, as Joe, now want to know if there are trans people in Corwick. There are trans <laughs> people everywhere. They're just good at hiding it. You have no idea. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that makes me happy. Anyway. Susanna just looks like she's... She waves her hands around a little bit and she's like, Well, it's like... Mm, the bit, And then part of it is that... And then just gets up. <sighs> if it's about, you know, like making children, you don't have to like signify which body parts you have you just do you have like a register of like 
What? Why is Gibbs Italian like a very weirded out look? Like, what are you talking about? A register of what, pray tell? Okay. Of, of the people that are living around you. Uh, uh, what? Individual communities might have a... So then all you got to do, if you want to have a child, you go to the person with the register and ask, you know, who can I have a child with? And they tell you, and then you all have a baby. <laughs> that is so far from how it works here. It's like... <laughs> no, you get married, and then... Yeah, have some children for your husband, you know? Like, or you why don't. Why can't it be your husband? Why can't it be... Well, Which one is the husband? Okay, so the one that dresses like me, that's the wife. The one that dresses like other people, that's the husband. If she's wearing a dress, she's a wife. Or maybe not a wife, maybe a miss, that but it doesn't matter. It is so sad to say that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. It's oh. sad that I'm a wife. A lot of people think it's very good. No, I mean that the dress thing is a, a thing. Because I, I wore like my, my dresses. sister's dresses, uh, like, all the time. Mostly because, yeah. I like my dresses. My dresses are nice. Well, I'm glad you I like them. I don't like this dress, but I like my I like my other dresses. I, I'm glad you like them. Anyway. I've, I've got a lot of very nice dresses. Uh, that's also... Coic seems to be a lot stricter about these things than a lot of other places I've been to. How, if there's no register, how do you keep track of who you're too close to to have babies with? Because you don't m marry your cousins. Well, how do you know which ones are your cousins? Because you keep track, because there's pride in a family lineage. That doesn't answer the question. Like, like okay, look. I knew... Okay. <gasps> So, I know who my husband was. I know who he was related to. I know who his mother was, who she was related to, who his father was, and who he was related to. All right? I know all Why of that. Why do you know all of that? You can just put it in the register and you don't have to worry about it. Because so, we don't have a register. I'm trying to possibly introduce census data into... <laughs> so, all right. some people keep a chart of their lineage like a, a family tree. But yes, not everybody does. <laughs> some, some people write it down, or some people, like, I had a small family. I had my daddy, I had my mama, I had me and Eleanor. Four people, we don't need to write it down. I'm not going to marry any of my father's cousins because they were not from around here, all right? So it doesn't, like, there's no chance of me doing that. It, you and, know? And a you lot of lineages, part, like, yeah. orally passed down, like, we talk about them yeah we just remember it we talk about stories from cousins and so and so and so and so so we just know kind of vaguely how closely somebody's related i mean diana just kind of shrugs um but if you just keep it all written down somewhere you don't have to put it in your brain and then you have more brain space to do, do other think... things. We don't space. need the brain space to do other things. What, Obviously like, what... you do. What would I do with my extra brain space, Talia? <laughs> Bias is busting Maybe a gut. Maybe your memories when you were too busy thinking about who you were related to that you forgot. I hate you. I hate you memories. so much. I hate you so much. Talia. <laughs> Susanna, come on now. Oh my uh, the that... problem with the registry, it works for communities much like Corwick or much like, but you can't have like an entire continent wide reg registry. Why not? That would be because that's way too many pages upon thousands of pages long. Where they come from to be willing to, you okay? You get all of the communities to make their own registries, and then you take every one of those. And you put them into a bigger registry. It does. You don't have to go around and count them yourself. You just. We're not smart them. enough to make the registries, Talia, because we're using all our brain space to think about family trees. And if you made registries, you wouldn't have to worry about that. Talia, no, you can't make registries. Hold on, stupid, Talia, Talia. When you when you make a city or a town, you can make yourself a registry of everyone who I ever lived. Will. You it's should. Kind of but it, it is all in the top. I can show you the Delphian registry if you want me to. <laughs> Good lord. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Just for yeah, shits and giggles, I want to see it. Show me the book I want to see. How is this registry laid out? Yes, I want to see it. Tell Show, it. I want to see Show it. me Talia, one of your scenes. Talia goes over to their bag and pulls out the tome and like flit, like it's towards the front of the book, actually. And it, they, they put this book down on the floor and they open it up and a couple of pages in, um, there is what starts out as, like, basically, like, a large group of names at the top of a page. And, like, it's, like, almost family tree style a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, except it goes for pages and pages and pages. And it's very obviously very meticulously, like, copied and drawn if you were to pull, like, the chunk of pages out and laid them end to end, you'd have a fucking massive family tree. Mm -hmm. um, and at some points there are some names that like are like added to the tree as it goes along. Um, mm -hmm. And some branches stop and start until you hit the end of it, which is a collection of about the same number of names as it started off with. Although the lines connecting and moving around got kind of confusing somewhere. <laughs> um, uh, Talia seems to be able to track them very easily with their, like, knowledge of it. Mm. But if you just looked at it, you'd be like, what the fuck is this nonsense? Um, I just see lines. And, that's, and then on the opposite of, and then past that, there is uh, a long list of names. What starts off as... Again, the same batch of names from the first part of the family tree. Um, and then a lot of them are sort of with dates written next to them for, like, birth and death dates. Um, they have dates in the Feywild? Yes. Yes. Bro. <laughs> um, they're just different than you know of what dates to be. Um, for example, the years are weird. <laughs> would like and sometimes it makes sense sometimes it looks like you know oh that's like april 40th 4th and then like sometimes you're like why do you have a 32nd month um <laughs> oh yeah that was fable <laughs> great um and as it goes along you see the names start to repeat almost like in a pattern of um names being used and recycled and passed down um, and alongside these names, there are like job listings for what people for like what jobs people had. And Talia's was like a registry. This is beautifully yeah, organized. Yeah, that, that would not work for us at all. I mean, this this is beautifully organized. But Vias is right. We could not possibly it, make this work. It would be like this, but times it by like a hundred. And the bigger oh, cities oh. would be. Just like the city of Iman, where you met us. Do you know how many people are there? A lot. Okay, it, so maybe you don't draw up the family tree, but you have it listed somewhere. But you don't need to do that because you just spare a little bit of extra brain space towards remembering who your cousins are so you know not to sleep with them. Yep. Uh, I have a question though. Oh lord, you have a question. Are you going to talk about uh, uh, people who don't know if they are related to people? Yeah, I was about to say, uh, what if you have basically no idea of your family beyond up? That's why you have a registry. Okay, no, here, I'll tell you, Diana. Sometimes people sleep with their cousins. Is that what you wanted to hear? Sometimes bad incest babies are born, and yep. it's terrible, all right? Yep. It happens on occasion. It does. They, and they are terrible messed up little children with all sorts of <laughs> problems all right and they very rarely survive depending on how close they get so is yes sometimes mistakes are made there yep. you go there's there, the answer i think there is lineage in one of the um older cities uh i don't know exactly where where uh you know kings have accidentally married like their like their yeah sister people, it yeah yeah. Tal Talia's new overarching character goal is to begin the Taldorai census. God. Yes. 
Yeah. That is that is the end game since it's for Tildori. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh my god, we're from the Union, it's perfect. <laughs> the Union, we create the census. The Union creates the census. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Isn't yeah. it like 18 or 815 or something like that? I don't know what year it is. I don't know either anymore. I, I don't know years. I we'll know. find out what year it is, but not right now. Also, it is nearly 10 a.m. Oh, um, yeah. We have some adulting stuff we need to do. Lame. And I should probably eat as well. Um, I, I assume this conversation kind of continues. Oh, yeah. We can this... possibly hand wave some of Talia's questions as getting answers, because some of them yeah. are actually answerable. Mm hmm. Yeah. But others, like, what is gender? Or just like, oh. Yeah. Nobody's why? getting an answer to that question. That is the, un the unknowable question. Why money? Hey, what the fuck? Do you mean this, like, what's a noble? Like, yeah. <laughs> again, why money? Um. Uh, noble we can, kind of, because someone who has been given rank and authority by but then we get into the difficulty with property once again. <laughs> we yeah, once again yeah. explain what property is. That's um, I think and I don't know how to do that. I think somewhere within this conversation, though, um, Vias has taken out his pen and ink again, and he's going to just write a couple things to Charlie. <laughs> Aw, what a sap. He, he got reminded of, of Charlie again, and he's like, oh no, I got I gotta write. I feel sad now. <laughs> All right. I lonely. I will, I will keep this in mind. Great, solid conversation, y'all. Mm. Hopefully next week we can do some things involving yes. stuff. Like Please. the soul that has been, you know, severed from Susanna's body, because that's probably important. I want I to save her. Yeah, hopefully we have more people, because if we have... Because my plans for it do involve whole yeah. party, except maybe Zoella, because I haven't figured out how to write Zoella in. Yeah. So, we have stuff so if more people come i can do more stuff and then we can do more stuff and it'll be good and but, i mean if it comes down to it you throw you throw us at the party and we right the party so, i love the idea of like whatever roast down is making is in the oven while they're having this conversation and then it gets interrupted by like marion knocking on the door oh yeah yeah that's probably gonna be our first uh, order of business next week is marion crow and her tagalongs <laughs> 